Hi, I'd like to show off my adult Lego tool system, modular storage boxes, and how I use them. This is my favorite way. I use it as a throne because I am the king when it comes to tools. No, don't say nothing. It's the truth. <laughs> you do. No, my toolbox moved by itself right after I said that. <laughs> so, ultimate cosmic power in an itty bitty living space. I don't know, I think it was something like 19 batteries in there. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what meme this is about, but it makes me giggle like that. So, that's the power box. Next, we'll move down. Oh, another thing I should show you too is so freaking cool. I spent so much time with my tools, I just got some foam padding sitting on the floor right in front of them. It made it so much more comfortable. I'm so spoiled. Uh, next box woodworking. Oh, deadly chilanka. Uh, every woodworking tool that's cordless I own is in that box. And it's accessories, router bits, uh, multi-tool cutoffs for metal and wood, multi-tool sandpapers, grout, uh, removal for the multi-tool, uh, sawzall blades, uh, for metal, wood, and uh, multi, multi uh, sandpaper, uh, measuring tapes, all that good stuff sits on the top there. Oop, uh, and we got the M18 sander, uh, circular saw. Uh, sawzall, jigsaw, uh, router, multi-tool, dremel, and all the attachments that go in there with it too. Uh, you know, for these IP65 water and dust proof rated toolboxes, I'm super duper happy. I've been lugging these things around filled to the brim with, you know, weighted hurting my back everywhere I go and these things are in better condition than me I'm pretty happy I'm getting my money's worth uh, I've actually picked this system over in Milwaukee because I spend a lot of time in the mud and the dirt and I heard some people say that their Milwaukee toolboxes get stuck or it got stuck, can't get, can't connect together, can't get stuck. Uh, because they're a good dirt and the cleats that connect at the bottom there after you get it a little muddy. Metal work. Oh, this video is getting long. I might just stop it at these three boxes. So, uh, this isn't every metal working tool that I own, but it's every metal working tool that I go to on a daily basis. Uh, I'm a metal worker by trade. So, zip cuts, uh, grinding discs, cut off uh, wheels for the die grinder, uh, cone stones, abrasive uh, wheels for removing rust and paints and all that good stuff. All sits on the top there. Along with the wrenches to change them. Uh, 
so we got the metal cutting circular saw uh, it's pretty fun cuts like a dream man quarter inch like butter one eighth you swear it wasn't even there uh, these are the five inch angle grinders from Milwaukee uh, was it 12 volt die grinder from Milwaukee too I like that one it has a variable speed uh, it doesn't send your hand flying into orbit every time you try to go into a tight corner and I got the little mobile, you know, metal circular saw, or not metal, sorry, sorry. I got the uh, little hacksaw there. And of course, a bigger corded die grinder for those days where the welds just ain't working right. And you gotta be running that thing all day long. And at the bottom, more. Uh, Cut-off wheels, grinding discs, wire wheels, lap discs. These are with uh, different grits. Uh, th those are all the ones that have yet to be used yet. So they're worth a little more. And everything up top uh, stays up top and is ready for access. Ready to go. That's only been six and a half minutes. Feels like I've been talking to you forever. Uh, I guess I could show you another box. Show you one more box. Oh, excuse me. Oh, while I'm putting these boxes, let me just turn you around and you could look at my little workstation table. Uh, stuff there with my handy dandy little shop vac uh, it's battery powered okay you know what I'll show you everything but the big box because I because I'm cool like that you can see everything but the big box <gasps> And no, it's not because I don't have enough tools to go inside there and all my other tools are already filled up with the rest of the boxes. That's not the reason. I just don't want to show you what's inside my big box. Woo. Okay, so. I made a little modification to a dual toolbox that I came with a sawzall that I purchased. The unreal steal of a deal. The guy who was selling it at the retail store was even kind of mad at me. He wasn't even the guy selling it. But yeah, it holds all my charges in there nicely. Uh, super happy. I have uh, I have the rapid chargers, but I heard recently that the rapid chargers drain your batteries and kill them faster. I'm kind of sad about that, but that's okay. I can regular charge, or I can just not give a damn and buy some more batteries as I need. <sighs> but I'm a man, I can care if I have to, I guess. have to forgive me I'm an old man now it's been a one long time since I one-handed something oh. uh, the Milwaukee radio it's, for how old it is it's really nice it sounds good okay next box impacts sorry about the weight all this crap takes a minute to move around here and there. So here's my impact. Anything to do with any kind of bolts or... Uh, yeah, bolts. Nothing but bolts. Makes me nuts. Uh, I love it though. 
So we got the half inch nut smackers. I call one Uga, next one Duga. And together they make a great team. Even a little musical in there. Uh, we got the uh, opened and wrenches too. And at the top there, I decided to keep the lid in there that actually comes with the thing. That's useful. Uh, I keep the other, I keep that spot open, you know, keep the nuts that I find uh, loose. Uh, all the other little standard metric kept separate away from each other, you know, don't, they don't play nice together. So, they get their own little homes. And hey. It's all coming back to me. Oof. Frick, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. I don't know how much that boy weighs, but it's big. Uh, drivers. Uh, drills. Anything to do with uh, fastening that's not a bolt. This stuff. Woo. So I got the Gen 2. M18 fuel hammer drill over the Gen 3. I hear the Gen 3 overheats. Uh, I also got this one, one key compatible because a lot of the stuff I don't know what I'm doing and I'd like my tool to do it for me. And because I don't like noise, I got the surge. It's a hydraulic fluid. Impact driver is half the noise, half the headache. I'm tired of working. your special little adapters to get into tight corners and places where you wish you never were and the bits bits and bits hole saws uh, I can't remember what sizes but they're hole saws another little one down there I keep those on there oh no I did a there we go I did good again I did a gooder. Uh, the attachments that go with them sit up top. Uh, every one of these little things have the little holders there in the middle. They don't go jumble everywhere. The ones that don't have the holders, I let them jumble all over in the little boxes. Uh, this is all my uh, split tips in this box here. This is my one wood uh, spaddle bit that I keep in there because it won't fit in with the rest of these ones. These are all my wood bits on the side here. And I just don't have the heart to let it sit in the middle with the rest of them that have a container. Uh, impacts and screws, drivers. Some of these are impact ready, some of them aren't. I don't know which ones are which anymore. But that's that box. You know what? I think that's all the boxes. All the boxes but the big box. And again, it's not because I don't have anything in there. I do, I swear. I got I got lots of tools in there. I got so much tools in there, you wouldn't believe. I can't even... It's so heavy, I can't even roll the thing on its wheels. It's how much tools is in there. I'll save that for the next video. 14 minutes. Ooh, I should have... I should have left that a long, a long time ago. Okay. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.